guys, so after my week of buns and my week of ponytails, today I am bringing you a week of half updos. Half updos are probably my favorite style to wear. They are extremely flattering on most people, usually very quick and easy to do, can look very feminine and nice. So I am very excited to bring you seven half updos today, Monday through Sunday. Or just whenever, whenever you feel like wearing a half updo. So just before we get started, I am working on a base of hair that is slightly wavy. I curled it using a 24 millimeter curling iron, I'm pretty sure. And I am wearing two strips of hair extensions just on the lower half of my head to make this look a little bit more voluminous. You do not need them, as always, you can do this just fine on your own hair. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the hairstyles. I am going to start by parting my hair. I'm going to start right around here, just outside my eyebrows approximately. And I'm going to move back towards the tip of my head, so my crown. And I'm just going to pull all my hair back, like that. And I'm going to tie that into a ponytail with a little hair elastic. And this is going to be quite a messy hairstyle, so don't worry about making this perfect. In fact, I like it better when it's a little bit messy. Alright, so when I've got my ponytail, I'm just going to grab this hair. And I'm going to gather it into a bun right on top of my head. And I'm going to pin this down with a couple of bobby pins. And then I'm just going to tug at it a little bit, make it a little bit messier and bigger, fluffier. And that is this hairstyle already done. For the next style, I am going to start by taking a, well, quite a large chunk of hair actually from right here. And I'm just going to braid this, just a regular braid. And I'm going to make sure that this braid is long enough to reach the center of the back of my head and then I'm just gonna stop. No point in finishing this all the way down. So when it's long enough, I'm gonna tie it up with a little hair elastic. And then do the same thing on the other side. So take a chunk of hair of a similar size and braid this. All right, so those are two braids and I'm going to make two more just below that. So I'm going to take another similarly sized chunk of hair from right underneath and just braid that as well and of course same thing here as well then next i oh this looks this looks amazing <laughs> next i'm just going to take all of this hair just pretty much the top half of my hair and i'm going to add my braids to that as well like that and I'm going to tie all of this together with a hair elastic then I'm going to remove all the little hair elastic from my individual braids so that they all incorporate into this ponytail that I have all right and then I am going to braid this entire ponytail And I'm not going to braid all the way down, I'm going to make sure to leave a little bit of a tail just to leave enough room for some major fluffing because we are going to fluff this up really, really, really big. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to start tugging at the sides of my braid and just make this enormous. And then you are done. For the next style, I am going to gather hair from right here. Just kind of the back of my head. Be sure to leave enough hair in the front here because we're going to use that later. I'm going to gather it into a ponytail in the back here. And just tie that off with a little hair elastic. Alright, so now I'm going to take this hair from the front, from one of the sides. And I'm going to wrap it around the ponytail 
and just pin this right underneath the ponytail to my head right there. I'm going to stick a bobby pin in. And then I'm going to take some hair from the other side as well and do the same thing. So just again wrap it over and stick it down right underneath my ponytail. And that is it, you are done! Now the next style is a little bit more complicated, so a little bit more for those of you who are more advanced in the hairstyling department. I am going to start by separating out a section of hair on the top of my head, right around this size. So it's going to move in a point towards the top of my head, like this. And I'm going to clip this back for now. I am going to make two more of these sections. And one is going to go from my ear to that same point. Twist it back. And of course, same thing on this side. From my ear to that point and I'm not going to clip this one away this is the one I'm going to work on so instead I'm just going to clip the rest of my hair back so that all of this doesn't interfere but I'm going to French braid this and what you need to realize is that this is essentially the same as Dutch braiding uh, to pigtail braids so I am going to start right here it's just in a little bit of a different direction but it shouldn't be much harder as soon as you get this down and you want to make sure while doing this that you are braiding upwards diagonally so we are aiming for that point on top for everything to come together so when I'm there I'm just gonna braid a few more times to make sure my braid doesn't undo itself and then tie it off with a hair elastic and then I'm just going to clip it back here so that the weight of the braid doesn't make it droop and moving on to this side so I'm going to take this hair, pin all of this back and start braiding. And the last one is going to be the middle one and that one is the easiest because that is just like doing a normal French braid starting at the front. Alright, so when you have all three of your braids, you can just join them together on the top of your head, right here. Then take out the individual hair elastics. And then you are done! For the next style, I am going to grab a section of hair in the back here. And I am going to grab a little comb and back on this a little bit. It doesn't have to be very dramatic, but just to give a little bit of added volume. Create a little bit of a poof here in the back. And then I'm just going to gather it and pin it down here with two bobby pins. And then I'm going to grab this hair in the front and I'm going to separate this into two and I'm just going to wrap these sections around each other quite loosely and it's really simple, this is all I'm going to do. 
And then I'm just going to pin this down right here for now, just temporarily, while I do the same thing on the other side. So grab all of this hair, wrap it loosely, like that. And now I'm going to take the twists from the other side as well, join them together and tie them together right on top of these bobby pins using a hair elastic. And that is this hairstyle done. For the next style, I am going to grab all of this hair, pretty much the top half of my hair. I am personally leaving a little bit of hair in the front here because I like that look with my bangs. You can just take everything, uh, if you don't have bangs, just pull everything back. And in the back here, I am going to braid this. Just your simple, regular English braid. Tie the end with a hair elastic. And then I'm going to start fluffing this braid up, which just means I'm going to tug at the sides and make it a little bit larger than it actually is. So when my braid is all fluffed, I am going to simply wrap it into a bun, like this. and pin it down with a couple of bobby pins. And that is this style done. For the next style, I am going to start braiding right here next to my parting. And I'm going to Dutch braid, so I'm going to braid my strands underneath the center one every time that I braid. And I'm going to add a little bit of hair to the top strand whenever I reach it. Okay, so when I've reached about halfway down the side of my head, I'm going to stop adding hair. Just one more. I'm going to stop adding hair and I'm just going to finish this braid. Same thing on the other side. And now, as you've probably guessed, I'm going to fluff these braids. So I'm gonna just start right here, make them look nice and big. All right, so when both my braids are nice and fluffy, I am going to cross them over in the back and then I am going to hide my ends underneath the braids here at the base. So as far as this braid will reach I will wrap it around my head and then I'll just tuck the end underneath my braid hair and pin it down there with some bobby pins. And this one same thing. And I'm also going to just pin my top braids in place a little bit. And then I am going to hold down these braids and just gently tug at this hair that I have underneath. And I'm going to make it a little bit more voluminous and poofy. And there is this hairstyle done. So those were the seven half updos I wanted to share with you today. So I really hope you enjoyed this video guys and you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can do that by clicking here or on the red button below. There's another video here that you may also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.